Hey YouTube, how's it going? I thought I'd weigh in on this Alex Jones thing going on. I've been watching this for a couple of days, thinking it over. And I was just watching this uh, video made by God Rules, and uh, he did a pretty good job in his analysis, I think. Um, you know, basically, this is about bias, it's about control, but it goes a lot deeper than that. And I think a lot of people are missing it. I just left him a comment. I just said, look, it's really simple. Um, they don't call it the net and or the web for nothing. As Satan needs gadgets to do what God Almighty does naturally. Think about it. And uh, so basically what we've got here is we've got all this uh, fallen angel technology. And um, it's all designed to identify who the enemies are. Of Satan are <clears throat> so um, you know God has the, the hairs of your very head numbered he says so and uh, but Satan doesn't have that ability he's not omnipresent so he needs gadgets so a lot of the stuff that we have today are gadgets that's the reason they want to bug the houses with refrigerators and toasters and all these gadgets I mean you hear all these electronics that we have today uh, for the most part, have the ability to submit data and uh, you know track us, etc., etc., etc. So um, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. I think that's an angle that uh, a lot of people aren't covering. He also pointed out that um, uh, you know there's no doubt that you know Hillary did some. Or Jones did some damage to uh, uh, Hillary during the election, and uh, by exposing her. And uh, here's God rules here. And um, so, and now that we've got, you know, the midterms coming up, they want to get rid of him because I think it is kind of bogus that within 12 hours he was booted off all these different platforms. That, that was obviously. Uh, a staged event or a pre planned event. So, um, you know, the enemy, I've been saying for a long, long time, they work 24 7. They don't take vacations. And the church is pretty much asleep, even though they think they're awake. Most of them are just sitting around, members are just sitting around waiting on the rapture. They don't want to cope with it. And uh, they're not fighting, you know, to fulfill the Great Commission. It's all about me, me, me. What I, what can I get? What can God do for me? And they don't lift a finger to do anything for Him. So uh, that's one of the big things that I see. And then there's others that, you know, like us, that uh, go out and we try and expose the falsehood that's going on. And we actually get right in the trenches with those that are deceived and are with the enemies and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. A case in point, this guy wrapped the news here. Um, look at his logo here, a wolf. Yet he claims to know God. But in his defense, as many videos I've done trying to expose him, because he denies Christ and... Or, or Jesus, he denies the Apostle Paul, says that the Bible's been altered to the degree that uh, it's, it's difficult to trust it, or you have to cherry pick it, which he does. But he did an interesting video yesterday. It's almost like he had a meltdown. And it's called Faith. You might want to listen to it. It's uh, 4 minutes and 28 seconds, not very long. But um, he said he was driving down the road, and God was having this conversation with him. He said that if uh, God had given him more money and more possessions and better looks and things, that he wouldn't be seeking God, that he would be depending upon himself and his own ability or his own looks or his own money, et cetera, et cetera. And that makes a lot of sense. That sounds like the Lord to me. Because God is not about... Um, you know, seeing that we're all comfortable here. This is this is a growth experience. And this is designed to draw us to Him. 
So um, as angry as he's been at God, <clears throat> as much bad, uh, as many bad, bad videos as he put out, you know, putting down Jesus using the old zeitgeist data and everything else, which was debunked several years ago. Chris White did an excellent uh, analysis of that. If you guys are up on that, uh, that Chris White has a channel. Also, I think he says he has a channel called Verse by Verse or something to that effect. Uh, debunking the, the the zeitgeist, but you know, read this guy wrapped the news. He's always saying, "Well, nobody will confront me. Nobody will debate me." No, and I've done videos. I said, "I'll debate you, man. Let's go. Let's let's take the gloves off. Let's go." But you know, it's crickets. <clears throat> but uh, you know, I'm just uh, want to do a really quick video here and encourage you guys that are really true believers in Christ to get out and and get in the get in the war because this is a war going on. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, remember? These are spiritual issues. And um, now it's coming to the point where, you know, the sheep kind of being divided from the goats. And uh, Matthew 13 talks about the wheat and the tares, and it says they will be allowed to grow among us. And, and you know, these, these fallen angels and these demonically possessed people, they're ahead of these corporations and things. And it, it's clear that the, the deck is being stacked. I've been saying for years and years, and I've done videos on it, that, you know, my videos get buried way, way, way down. And somebody did an undercover video with a, with a YouTube uh, employee a while back. Linda Kerber was telling me about it. And uh, I think I had seen it and kind of forgotten about it. But Linda Kerber used to have a channel, and they did away with her channel like that. And, um, you know, at one time she had 900,000 subscribers. Uh, she was sending out newsletters through MailChimp, and somebody put the word out on her, and she went from 900,000 subscribers to 2,000 in like 30 days. Okay? So it's not just Alex Jones. It's a lot of people. And I'm sure you know a lot of people that have been, you know, booted off. Some of them are fortunate enough to be able to come back. Some of them, they're just gone. So that's what we face. And... Um, you know, they've identified us. They know who we are. I'm not hiding. Never have hidden. And, um, you know, I'm willing to lay, the, lay down my life for Christ. How about you? So, um, you know, this isn't really a slap for the pre-tribbers, but one thing that I see, that most of the people that believe in the pre-trib rapture do absolutely nothing to uh, fulfill the Great Commission. They're just sitting around waiting to be taken away. In other words, I, the way I see it, they're just takers. It's like, what can God do for me instead of what can I do for God? So um, my Bible says that those that endure to the end will be saved. And the end still means end. And uh, Matthew 13 says, the tares will be taken first, and then his wheat will be gathered into his barn. So you guys that are pre-tribbers, you might want to reevaluate that because the book of John says in multiple places that we're not going anywhere until the last day. Um, Martha had a, a conversation with Jesus over that, that when Lazarus would rise. And she says, well, I know he'll rise at the last day. And Jesus didn't correct her. So you guys that are sitting around waiting on the rapture, 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 you might really want to think, uh, you know, that, that it's possible that that's not going to happen. Uh, as soon as you you hope and pray, it will. I mean, don't get me wrong. We all want to get out of here. I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to get out of here. Because this, this place is an insane asylum. Um, surely isn't much truth and much justice here. Um, in the total scheme of things. But, but there is truth to be found. And there is justice to be found. But you have to be that truth. And you have to be that justice. So, um, serve the Lord. Choose him, serve the Lord, and uh, do your very best. And as far as Mr. Jones, I think he got a bum rap. That's my take. And, uh, you know, I used to listen to, to Alex, and I still do, from or did from here, to, you know, here and there. But to be honest, I got tired of him interrupting his guest. I mean, he'd have a guest on, and I'd be into what the guest is saying. 
and he'd interrupt them. I can't stand that. It drives me crazy. But um, keep Alex in your prayers. I think he's doing his best. And don't forget the good work that he's done. And, uh, I mean, he did the Obama, the Obama exception, uh, the, the, Obama, the Obama deception, and he called it. And then he also did put the, the, the video out, the end game. So give Alex credit. You guys are trying to throw him under the bus, call him a shill and everything else. You know, I, I can't think of anybody, anybody, anybody anywhere that I agree with 100%. But just because somebody is off base in our own perception, the way we see things, doesn't mean that there's not a lot of good in them. So we're part of the body. We need each other. We need to be unified. The enemy is unified. And that's the reason they're gaining such, such ground. But this thing is going to come to blows. I can see it. I can smell it. Um, we've got weather manipulation going on. We've got crop failures all over the world. Uh, certain countries are having experiencing 50% crop losses. So you need to be storing some rice and beans. And, um, you know, using your head. Consider the ants, thou sluggard. So, um, you know, it's, I, think, I think we've got a ways to go. A lot of people... You know, especially in the last few months, you know, Raptor here, Raptor there, and they do their numbers, and their numbers look good and everything, but the date comes and goes. So, how about this? How about focusing on fulfilling the Great Commission and um, doing your best to take care of your, your own family and making sure that they're in a strong position? Because if, if, if you're banking on a Raptor and it doesn't come as soon as you think, and they really do bring the hammer down. They crash the economy and stuff, which a lot of people are saying they're going to do. Um, how, where are you going to be? So be prepared. Be smart. Use that brain that the Lord gave you. And do your best to every single day share the gospel with somebody, even if it's just one person. And with that, I'd like to say I love you. I think about you. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. You guys take care, and God bless you. Yeah, from the Philippines, out.